Are you confused about what memory card is going to work with your camera? Which will be the best for the type of photography you want to pursue? I'm Caitlin and I'm here to ease all your memory card worries. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'll put a link in the description below to all the memory cards we hold here at APT. It's important to know which memory card is compatible with your device and which will work best for you. Let's dive right in and start with compact flash or CF cards. CF cards are the most popular memory cards out there right now. They're about the size of a matchbook and are compatible with most cameras. They come in both Type 1 and Type 2 formats. Type 1 draws less power and is exclusively a type of flash media and is more common than Type 2. This number here specifies the amount of data that can be stored on the card. It can range from anywhere between 2 gigabytes to 512 gigabytes. Here we have the UDMA, or Ultra Direct Memory Access Rating, which is the speed at which the card can process data. UDMA1 supports speeds up to 16.7 megabytes per second, while UDMA7 is 10 times faster and can reach up to 167 megabytes per second. Some CF cards come with a movie clapperboard on the front with a number on it. This number indicates the slowest speed in megabytes per second the card will write. This number is important to videographers because if the writing speed drops, the frames being recorded won't actually record. You also have this number here that represents the card's maximum read speed. The higher the number, the faster your card will retrieve your data. Next up, we have SD cards. SD cards used to be a bit slower and offered limited capacity, but now have increased capacities and speed. There are two types of SD cards, the SDHC cards and the SDXC cards. SDHC cards offer a smaller capacity and slower speed when compared with SDXC cards and can hold between 2 gigabytes to 32 gigabytes, while SDXC cards can hold 64 gigabytes to 2 terabytes. Any device that accepts SDXC cards are backwards compatible with SD and SDHC cards, and any device that is compatible with SDHC cards will accept SD cards. However, that doesn't work in the opposite direction, so devices that are compatible up to SDHC cards likely won't support SDXC cards. There are also the smaller versions called micro SD cards. These share all the same capabilities as SD cards and also have two types, micro SDHC and micro SDXC. You can use micro SD cards in cell phones or smaller cameras like GoPros. You can also use an SD size adapter and insert your micro SD card to make it compatible in larger devices and cameras. You'll have the same types of numbers on SD cards as you do on CF cards. You have the type, SDHC or SDXC, the amount of memory available, and the maximum read speed in megabytes per second. We also have the UHS speed class rating, which is the characteristic most important to videographers we talked about with the CF cards. This number is divided into classes 2, 4, 6, and 10, where the class number denotes the read-write speed. Class 2 means a minimum of 2 megabytes per second, class 4 is 4 megabytes per second, etc, etc. You can also have the ultra high speed class 1 or 2, also known as UHS-1 or UHS-2. UHS-1 allows for speeds up to 104 megabytes per second, and UHS-2 can reach a maximum speed of 312 megabytes per second. SD cards also have a lock feature on the side of the card. It's a tiny little tab that slides, and when an SD card is locked, the write features are turned off, so no one will be able to remove or add any files. This is great to protect your files, but it's very easy to lock and unlock so anyone who knows about this feature and has the card can easily unlock it. XQD cards are made by Luxar and Sony and use the PCIe, or Peripheral Component Interconnect Express, interface featured on certain computer expansion cards. Simply put, the PCIe interface allows for the expansion of a motherboard beyond its default GPU, network, and storage configurations. In theory, the XQD format has a maximum capacity greater than the 2 terabyte limit of other memory cards, but we have yet to see an actual card that can reach such a high storage capacity. They are currently available in several classes, including the standard XQD, or H series, as well as N, S, and G series. The H and N series support transfer speeds up to 125 megabytes per second, the S series up to 180 megabytes per second, and the G series, which is the newest, can get up to 400 megabytes per second, which is great for videographers filming in 4K or photographers shooting raw photos. To recap, when purchasing memory cards, you wanna think about which type will be compatible with your device, the read-write speed that the memory card has, and the amount of storage the memory card is capable of. Another thing to note is, you wanna make sure you have a memory card reader that can read your specific memory card. 
Some are only capable of reading, say, an SD card. So if you only have a micro SD card, you'll need to purchase an SD card adapter. If you have any questions about the memory cards we hold here at APT, please feel free to call us, email us, or chat with one of our experts online. We're always happy to help. I'll see you next time.